So when you open your photo in Photoshop and go into neural filters choosing skin smoothing, you are doing a huge mistake. And that is the reason. So for start, click on this plus icon to create a new layer and rename it to blemishes. On the toolbar, choose spot healing brush tool. On the top menu bar, choose the correct size for your brush and adjust the hardness. And just click on the places where you see blemishes or other not perfections that catch your eye. This process may take some time, but this is the best way how you can prepare the skin for the future using of the smoothing skin filter in Photoshop. So I will just speed up the video so you would not fall asleep while I remove all not perfections on my photo. And when the process is done, select second layer by holding shift on your keyboard and choose convert to smart objects. Now two layers are are joined into the one and you can easily check it by double click on the layer and open a new document. Here from the top you can see two documents where the first one with our original photo and second one with our smart object. So in the case you would like to remove some additional not perfections on the skin, you can always open the smart object and do changes only. Don't forget to click file and save to save all changes on the original photo. And here you can see before and after of removing blemish step. When the step is ready, it's time for the smoothing skin filter in Photoshop. So click filter, neural filters and choose skin smoothing. Moving blur slider, you can set up the level of the blurness of the skin. Usually I go with 50 here and one of the most important settings is a choosing new layer mask it as an output and click OK. The new layer will appear on the layer panel and you can choose before and after by clicking on this eye icon. But don't rush to export the photo after this step as this filter smooths not only skin but eyelashes and eyebrows. So to bring these details back, select the mask layer we created, now choose brush and with with black main color, start to paint over those details to bring them back and when you finish it with this step just rename this layer into skin. And at this point 80% of the people would export the photo, skipping a super important step of making the skin tone even. Hopefully you are not one of them, so click on this plus icon to create a new layer, change the blend mode of the layer from normal to soft light. Now select a brush tool and change its opacity to around 5% or less. Now set up the white color for the brush by clicking on the square, the color picker have to be in the top left corner and now you paint over the shadows that create not even tone for the skin. Perhaps now you cannot notice the difference but wait when you will see before and after results. Also I like to switch to the black color and paint over the eyebrows and the eyelashes to make them more catchy and now you can see the difference before and after by clicking on this eye icon and drop a comment down below if you're happy that you didn't miss this extra retouching tip. Now rename the layer to the skin and don't rush to export the photo as now it's very important to add the details to the skin to make it look natural. So hold Holding option key on the keyboard, click with right mouse button on the layer and choose merge visible. It will join all visible layers into brand new layer from the top. So now click on the image, choose adjustment and black and white. Here you don't need to make any change and just click OK and go filter others and high pass. Now our task to set up the radius in the pixels to make some details on the photo show up. Be sure to make details only slightly visible with the radius around 2 or 3 pixels. And now change the blend mode of this layer from the normal to the vivid light. And you can see how the texture of the skin and other details on the face become more visible and crispy. If effect is too harsh, feel free to change the opacity of the layer. And for those who stick till the end of this video, I will be happy to share one more extra retouching tip that I love to do to make skin shine. For this we need to create adjustment layer that calls curves. Now click in the center of the curve and drag it to the top. Your photo have to look like this. Now double click on the curves layer and open the setting window. Click on the black slider and drag it to the white zone. You can see how glowing effect stays on the light places of the skin. To make a smooth transition, just click on the slider holding option key on the keyboard. It will create a two sliders that will help you to reach a smooth transition for the glowing effect. Now select the mask layer and click invert. Choose the brush tool and with white main color paint over the places where you would like that glowing effect appear. Here you can see how skin look like before and after glowing effect. Now let's check the results of all retouching steps we did. And I will be very grateful if you will click like under this video and will share in comments with me which retouching step was the most interesting for you.